how do you want me? To, you want me to just, just roll the damage? Yeah, and just the roll an extra D4 with D6. Or D6, yeah, D6, whatever it is. Right? Uh, if you do like you said and drag it to the modifier box, like Doug said, yeah, you can do it all yeah. in one roll. So. so just roll the D6 first, see what the result is, and then drag the result to the modifier box before you do your damage. Oh. Well, that was a big sucky. Okay, and then roll this over here. Let's see if it did it. I didn't quite do it yet. Did not do it right. Your your D six didn't seem to show up in the chat window at all first, but there did you it go. work. Okay. So ten damage, and that was uh, to the guard, guard number three. He's in pretty bad shape. Now, I think damage wakens them up, if I'm not mistaken. It does. Sure does. Okay. So he is no longer uh, incapacitated, so I'll take that off of him. But he's, uh, he's hurt pretty, uh, pretty nicely now. He's got an arrow lodged in his back, basically. Well, in, the, I would say, his upper, upper chest area. All right, so nice shot. So, Celia, you can go ahead and take any movement that you'd like to, and we'll go to Atticus. So I'm going to go ahead and move up and uh, yell at the uh, the priest. The Storm Lord has lost here. Just give it up now. The Golden Lady will make things right. Throw down your weapons and stop this nonsense. The boy will die. Hardly. Look around you. You've already lost. The Storm God will protect us as he looks like he's still starting to uh, draw a weapon and attack. Well, he's already got his weapon drawn. Well, my friends aren't as nice as I am. <laughs> the one guard that is, you know, has the arrow lodge that is uh, adjacent to your left, well, not adjacent, ten feet away, he yells, It is for my sister. It is revenge. You should butt out of our business. <laughs> so it says right. press bar. So let's see here. From back here, where'd it go? There it is. Um, Graven is going to. Uh, so uh, uh, the runes uh, inscribed along his arm all light up, and he pitches a, uh, a bolt of flame across the, the top of the rooftop towards the spellcaster over there uh, with a big mouth and uh, hoot. this guy right here ooh nice firebolt as your firebolt streaks across the top of the tower and smashes through the vortex and hits the wizard for six points of fire damage <laughs> Is Did it, that come out? Is it a set amount of damage? I don't think is, what is it, 1d8 or something like that? No, it's... There we go. 1d10? Okay. Oh, nice. All right. So I'll... Uh, and, uh... Let's see here. And then he's going to move. And as he's moving, he's pulling rope out of his bag. Okay, and what is what do you there. do with the rope? Okay, oh, you're well, going to bind up the guard or something? His intention is to to tie up the guard so we have somebody to question afterwards. Oh, that's a good idea. He does have the the same type of reflection as Benesi. Yeah, he looks back at uh, at Suya and he's like, "Don't kill this one. I want to keep one alive to talk to." You. If you're lucky. <sighs> they were probably duped. All right, so Curlio, it's your turn. Uh, okay, he's his eyes start to turn a copper, coppery color, and he's like, "No, don't, don't hurt me, don't hurt me." And then uh, he spews out of his mouth a, a ball of uh, glowing acid, and it, and it flies toward the priest. Ooh, acid spray, huh? Yeah, acid splash. Acid splash, yeah. nice. I think there's a saving throw involved in that. Yeah, that is definitely a failure. You may uh, roll a damage. <sighs> All right. Profit goes down. 
That's it. He just he turns turns back and tries to uh, undo the knots. Very nice. As the acid just starts to melt the flesh off of his face as he goes down to his knees, and he, you know, he's coughing and hacking up. Bubbles are coming out, and he's hacking up more poison as he just kind of falls over. And at this point, the vortex just disappears altogether. Oh, were you up here, Gildan? I didn't see you doing anything. Oh, yeah. I'll come up here. <laughs> I'll, I'll just come up to this spot. And then, uh, so guard three, is he, uh, he's still prone, right? He's in, he's in pretty he's, bad shape. He's hurt. Yeah, he's in so, pretty bad shape. He is prone, too, so yeah. So would that be advantage against him if he's on the ground? It would. If I whip him? Yeah. Yep. All right, so I'm going to whip him, and uh, I'll tell him, so it appears that your sister got all the looks and the brains in the family, and then I'll... Watch you! What? <laughs> I'll get you for saying that! <laughs> but I'm not trying to kill him, so I'm just going to see if I can, you know... You're going to hold the killing blow? Hold the killing blow, just try to, you know, knock him out the rest of the way here. Yeah, you hit him. Go ahead and all right. damage. He's only got a couple of HP left, I believe. Yeah, you, you, you hold go. your blow... Guard three, he goes down. I will uh, tie him up and patch him. Curlio is going to look around to see if there's anybody noticed or is big, making a big deal about his uh, acid splash thing that he did. I while think all the people that care are down. Yeah. While, while Wait, he's uh, did, untying. Did you do a thing? I didn't see you. Did you do a thing? It's <laughs> 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 I told you that wine was bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with the, the, the food we ate <laughs> at the party? All right, so you have taken out a couple of the guards, probably the the brothers of, of Benesi. You have two of the brother. Well, one of the brothers is actually still asleep. You know, the other one is actually knocked out unconscious. I'll we try to probably, save the other uh, as well if, if yeah. they're still alive. Stabilize them if we can. Okay. Sure. Uh, you can go ahead and give me a, a healing check, I think it is. Medicine. Medicine check? Yeah, give me a medicine check. That medicine. <laughs> yeah, his wounds are far beyond your, your uh, medical skill. Hmm. Oops. As with Lost both the brothers. <laughs> <laughs> I see that you weren't really trying very hard. No, he's he's not uh he's not dying, he's not oh. having to do any kind of saving throws. You you hold the you know, you held the blow to just basically knock him unconscious, so there's no real need to do saving throws on that guy, so but you can get him bandaged up and whatnot. You can stabilize him better than what he is. So what do you guys? What say? about Larch? I mean, are we gonna check him out? He's on like the altar. Uh, uh, Larch, is <laughs> yeah. In, Larch is in pretty bad. Yeah, Larch is in pretty bad shape. His his uh, ankles are bound. His his wrists are bound. Uh, he's been bludgeoned pretty good. Uh, Apparently, he's been, he's been judged better. I rolled a twenty on my medicine for him. Yeah, he is. Uh, you actually get. Well, if you're going to stabilize Larch, yeah, you, you could, your skill, actually, your, your role, you can definitely get him stabilized. But he's in pretty bad shape, so. He's definitely not going to die now, that's for sure. But he's, you know, he's got several slices. They, they've, they've beat the, the shit out of him pretty good. I'm going to cure him, wake him up. Right. Which one? The uh, Larch? Larch, yeah. You have to work at it for a little bit. You know, you pour some water on him and whatnot. No, I used a cure spell. Okay, well that'll work too. And he comes too. What? What? Where am I? Uh, where am I? Oh, I've got a headache. Like you want? Who are you? Who are I you? say you're you're safe. <laughs> Your brother sent us. Oh, Nelvin, I, I, I never thought that I was gonna see him again. All of you came to to save me. I, I, I thought I was a goner. 
I thought these madmen were were going to to kill me. They they kept saying that I was going to be sacrificed. Well, some of us came to save you. Some of us came to find the truth. So if you want to start speaking about what you and your family have been up to, we're more than happy to listen. I I don't know what you're talking about, lady. I, How I about really Tennessee's sister? I, Benissi attacked me today. I don't. I don't know why she attacked me. I always thought she was a nice lady, but she just attacked me for some reason today. I have no clue why. All I oh, know is all I lie. remember. All I remember was is I was I was here at, at the banquet and I was invited as everyone else was and you know it's the start of the you know the celebration of the Saj house and. Uh, I, I was attacked. All of a sudden, I was just being beat on by her. She was beating me with a rolling pin in her hand, and and, and then all of a sudden, I, I I was being whisked away by these by these guards that came. These two guards that came. I don't know what, lady. I don't even know what you're talking about. I have well, no clue perhaps what you're we take about. you back to your brother, and perhaps we don't take you back to your brother. Uh, we've investigated, no, but uh, no truth can be found. So my family this looks is... like a tall tower. Maybe you go out the window. Maybe you go down the stairs with us. Well, what do you think? Hey, lady, I'm sure my I'm sure my brother my brother's got he's got plenty of coin. I'm sure oh. he's, he's probably hired you to find me. My family's you know my family they're they're of nobility. They have money. I'm sure you've been paid. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I sir, don't... sir, I am of nobility, and so is, and I point over at Atticus, so is he. The, when the nobles are involved, money does not matter, only the honor of the family. If, and truth, uh, yeah, truth matters, truth matters. Truth, yes, truth and, truth and honor. But uh, if, you do, if you're unable to tell us uh, what you did or why you're here, I won't be able to restrain my friend here. What, I, I mean, I, I, I'm... I'm at a loss here. I, I really, honestly, I, I'm telling you the truth. I, I have no clue why I'm even here. Perhaps I, we wake up guard. Yeah, wake up brother guard, then the sea guard. Yeah. Sure. I, I, go, the guard's not my brother. What are you talking about, lady? He's not my. He's not my brother. That's Benesi's brother, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, it, it's it is. Brother. It's Benesi's. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If I, if you want to give him an insight check, don't don't be a. Uh, don't be afraid to ask uh, for insight checks. You guys uh, may do that at any time. All right, I'll roll one, which is not very good. <laughs> <laughs> you actually, not my you, 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 you actually believe the young lad. I, I want to roll an insight, and I want to use my inspiration to uh, sure. get advantage on it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Because I button. almost Let's have no it. chance at that. <laughs> wow, three with advantage. You, you believe him as well. So you almost you almost feel sorry for him. Well, <laughs> I still think it's worth waking up the guard and getting his side of the story because we were That's paid right. to investigate. Let's so, before we wake up the guard, let us let us at least check this uh, this priest's body. Let's see if there are any clues there, and then we can ask the guard. You know about yes, I will search and, and the body some. with. Uh, <laughs> Is that clues in quotes? Yeah, yes, uh, clues. But you Curlio can spend. doesn't deign to reach down and, and pat the body down. He just stands there. Sure. Well, who all is searching? I, I would I would guess that. Uh, I will help him search. One must be Gildan. All right. <laughs> well, Gildan, as you're as you're patting him down, you notice that he has this strange contraption that he's wearing, sort of like as a backpack. But it doesn't look like a backpack. It, it looks like it's some kind of gidget or contraption. Something that you've really never seen before. Hmm. But it doesn't look like your, you know, your basic adventurer's backpack, run-of-the-mill backpack. This thing is actually quite interesting because there's all kinds of arcanic symbols and stuff on this backpack. I'll uh, ask one of our more arcane uh, folks to, to look it over. Have you seen any of these symbols like this before? Wanna, Perhaps that's what caused the swirling. I want to talk with Atticus about it. I'll take it. a closer look. 
at the back. I'll, I'll go over there with him and I'll just say, "Hey, look, see the hell the curve of that of that rune right there? I think that means uh, that it uses this kind of magic." I want to give him an advantage. I want to do the help help action. Okay, sure, absolutely. But he rolled twenty, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Atticus, you've seen this in your studies. You've got Atticus. You've got these clutch rolls going on, man. You, you well, plus I'm uh, knowledge okay. domain, so that helps. Uh, that is really good. So in your studies, you remember seeing illustrations of someone jumping off of something very high. And the description of this fits exactly what these runes are reading. And what this is is a balloon pack. And this balloon pack has an air elemental that is basically inside a summoned air elemental. And when you pull this cord that is hanging off of the front of this backpack, kind of looped over his shoulder, this elemental summons, it fills this, it fills like a housing, like a cloth housing full of air, and you can float down somewhere, and you won't fall to your death. And this was definitely magically made. This is a quite a, quite a pricey contraption. This is definitely a, a marvel of engineering, that's for sure. Hmm. So, hey, we well, can go uh, base jumping off this tower. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll describe what it is to the others and mention that it's quite odd to see one pop up here. While they're all busy, uh, huddled around the priest, I wanted to go over and talk to Larch. Sure. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to, to ask him, uh, you know, why, why is it you think that your brother killed Matilda? M Matilda, I who was who? My brother, my brother wouldn't kill anybody. What are you talking about? What is all this about? Benesi's Benesi's sister. Benesi's sister, my my brother. So Benesi is saying that my brother killed her sister. This is the first news I've heard of this. You need you need to ask my brother. My, my my brother wouldn't do anything like that. My my house is noble. We we would never do anything like that. We wouldn't murder anyone. Did You're you crazy. know the, Did not, you know not, your brother was a cloak? Not yourself. You would have it done. Yes, he's a cloak. Yes, as as are many nobles in you know in this town in Mole Master and a lot of other individuals are in are in the cloaks. Yeah, but you're you're not. No, I, I, I aspire to be a cloak one day, but, uh, you know, until I become a holy warrior of Tyr, I'm not interested in the cloaks. I, I, I am a squire uh, of, of Elise, a paladin of Tyr here in, in Molemaster. Tell us how your family knows uh, Benesi's family. I, I don't I don't I didn't even know that I didn't even know that my brother knew Benesi. I the only thing that I know Benesi of is she's one of the seamstresses of of the house Saj. That's that's all I know, I swear. I don't I don't How would the know priest? Do you know this priest? Have you ever seen this priest before? I've never seen the I've never seen this priest. I've never seen this priest. What, well, what about priest? these guards? Oh whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait a all minute. Right. Wait a minute. I think I might have seen this guy before. And he, you know, he's he's in pretty bad shape, and he, you know, kind of limps over towards towards the corpse, and he says, "Oh, yeah, actually, I have. I've actually seen this guy at our house. I've actually seen this guy now. Hmm. But I, I don't. Now I, I I knew I kind of recognized this guy from somewhere. Yeah, I, I've seen him at a." At the house, I, I I don't know what the heck is going on though. Hmm. Well, let us not what forget the that context? there are two dead guards below in the in the tower. Yeah, it might be time to leave before we're implicated. <laughs> so you guys Did, want to? Do we want to question? Yeah, we want to question, question the. Yeah. Uh, I was like, do we want to try and wake or, or apprehend this guard? And well, you could probably bring him but, back into the guard tower if you guys want to, you know, bring him down in back inside of the tower and lock the door. Uh, you, uh, you guys, can yeah, get so away with that. I think we should take yeah. them both. And <laughs> yeah, my, my vote is, oh, my vote is to just um, send them back to their sister. 
Uh, well, I don't want to let, let Larch go. And, well, we can take Larch with us to go talk to Duand or whatever his brother's name is. I don't want to let him just go running off or Melvin. But the other guard, I think we should at least wake and, and ask him before we send him off to his sister and ask him what his take on it is. Yeah. And we need to find out who killed the people downstairs because someone obviously committed murder there. Was it the priest or were, were the brothers complicit with that murder as well? In which case they should be yeah. turned into the rest of the guard. How do you know that they're well, yeah. downstairs? No one ever really checked them. I, I told you that they... That sure, it, they could be asleep, yeah. They, or knocked they could out. They or... unconscious or something. So I don't remember yep. anyone actually saying, uh, I checked to see if they're alive or dead. So I don't remember that. Nope. I'm just a simple halfling, but it seems to me that the priest, who's friends with the cloaks, sold out Melvin's brother Lurch to the to Hen what's her name Benesi's family as their murderer of Matilda, who they clearly sacrificed for some nefarious means. And we should probably just let the guards go, drop Lurch off with his brother, take our cash, and get out of here. But they're not guards. That's the thing. The the, well, okay, uh, we can call them guards. They are they're guards. also guards. That's yeah. all right. They're guards. Yeah, Benesi oh, okay. had claimed that. I mean, nobody but, has but seen you. But they're not. They're not part but of. But the any other, the, the I would say the official guards or the other their peers or whatever don't know that they've done this. Hmm. Right. That's what I mean. That was what was implied that they were kind of acting on their own. And nobody's sure. seen you come here. So I mean, it's up to you if if you guys want to, you know, do what you want to do. So Graven is going to go ahead and uh, after he's tied this guard up that was not injured but put under the sleep spell, mm -hmm. he re he releases the sleep spell. Okay. And he gr he grabs the ropes and picks the guard up with one muscly hand or arm and like carries him down the trap door. Okay. Sure. You guys want to okay. pull uh you guys want to pull the other guard down inside of the the tower as well and lock up the door. You guys want to take a break? Actually, we've been here for a couple hours and. Maybe want to take a break for about uh, 10 minutes or so? Yeah, that sounds, sounds good. good. Yeah. Sure. Grab a yeah. bio, grab a drink. Okay, cool. So we'll say that you guys get the, the two living brothers down into the tower, and we'll continue there in about 10 minutes. All right. Okay, and I'm also All assuming right. that we're taking Larch with us. We're not going to let him just go. Sure, uh, yeah, absolutely. Sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, I'll see you guys in about a good job. Nice role playing. I like that. Good job. <laughs> And I'll see you guys in about uh, 10 minutes. All right, so we'll continue on. You guys have two of Benesi's brothers, captive, bound, half dead, half beaten, down into the guard tower now. You've got the doors locked. And beaten and whipped. Beaten and whipped. And you have Literally. their full attention. And Larch is uh, in bad shape, but he's not going to die. All right. So the the one that's the the least beaten, uh, 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 Graven is gonna basically just get right up in his grill with his smelly dwarf breath and be like, all right, tell me, tell me now, what gives? What are you doing? Well, well, that boy there, his brother and his family killed our sister, so he has the right to die. Unfortunately. Well, I've lost two of my brothers today. So I have failed on what my family was trying. I am shamed. I am... I, I, I cannot go back now. <laughs> I have, who who I have told failed. you that he killed your sister? The priest. Proskler. He's a friend of the family. He is an acolyte of Talos, the god of storm. He's a friend, you know, friend of our family, and he was the one that told us that you know the Dewan family was the ones that killed our sister. And you know, as as he's saying this, you know, Larch is proclaiming that his family had nothing to do with this, and he's calling the guy crazy. He doesn't even know what he's talking about. Well, that's interesting, yeah. since Talos is the god of destruction. Seems like he might have some ventus vested interest in, you know, mixing things up and maybe not telling you the truth. Gildan, there's also a there was also another item that you had found on on the priest on Proskler. 
and oh. it was a small silver pendant. And this pendant had a symbol on it, a couple of symbols, and it had a triangle, like a triangular type of symbol on it. And it also, this this small pendant had sort of like a like a lightning bolt engraved on it with what appears to be like wind swirling around the bolt and then there is like above that there is a uh, a triangle type of symbol and in fact let me draw i'm going to draw on this ma- on the, i'm going to attempt to draw on this small master map so this symbol kind of looks like this it has the triangle there. Wow, I can't believe it actually looks like a triangle. Oh, God. And then it has a uh, sort of like a, a lip there, and then it looks like this. Ah, damn it. But the line's sort of like in the middle. So you can see that on the Mall Master map, right? Okay, on the Mall Master map, do we, yep. do, we, yeah. do we know what that means? or? Well, it's it's a symbol that's that's on the map. Is it religious in nature? Or? Uh, you can give me an arcana check. Maybe you can give me an arcana check, or or maybe even a, a history check to see if you've ever seen this in any any kind of text that you've read or anything. Yeah, you definitely have no clue. Uh, <laughs> oh, you roll high enough; it makes up for poor skills. Yeah, it's just spamming it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, actually, I had all three of those skills. So. Atticus, yeah. Yeah, that was arcana, and here's. History. Ah! I'll take a. Ooh. I'll take Atticus your first roll, and also Gildan. All of you guys are kind of looking at this, and you all come to the conclusion. Oh, wow! So that that is a symbol that's representing both the Acala, you know, both the the god of Talus, and also a cult, and this is the cult of the Howling Hatred. Mm-hmm. So this is a symbol that is, you know, kind of intertwined and engraved with two symbols in one. So, hmm. God of Ta- the God of Talus and also the Cult of the Howling Hatred. Yeah, this could come in handy for a uh, disguise later. Hmm. Definitely. And then two and two is put together, and Atticus, you would think that that Cult of the, the Cult of Air probably are the ones that made that backpack with the air elemental in it. Mm. Oh, that's right. It seems seems to yeah fit the scene. Yeah, yeah I just huh. start to kind of put two and two together. So, have I heard any rumors about what or uh, any increased activity in something I call it like this in town? Not for quite... There was several months back, but it was quelled. Supposedly, all of the cultists were, were, were kind of quelled down a little bit. So things have been on the down low. There were, there were multiple cults that were involved. There was a, a cult of Howling Hatred, the cult of Eternal Flame, there was a cult of Black Earth, and the cult of Crushing Wave, I believe. And those four cults were kind of in cahoots with one another, doing some things that they shouldn't have been doing. Uh, but several months have gone by, and that news has kind of dried up. So, but, hmm. uh. so maybe we should go well, back to questioning Large, because he had mentioned that he saw Proskler at his house before, but yeah. we didn't get a context for that. Yeah, Large, Large says he... He thinks he he thinks he uh, remembers seeing this guy. He said, "Yeah, as you know, uh, you know, as he's feeling a little bit better, he he, he thinks, yeah, I, I I think this I think this priest has has been at our manor, has been at our estate several times. I don't know for what type of business, but did I, you see him meeting with anyone in particular? I, I think it was with my father." But I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know why. My, I mean, my There's, father is a businessman, and he does a lot of dealings with, you know, the the different uh, deities. Uh, we we do like to help out the less fortunate, 
So I, I don't know, it could have been for that, but I, I don't think my family's involved with any kind of cult. And I know my family wouldn't kill anybody. That's just, that's, that's absurd to think anything like that.